welcome to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my youtube channel click on the notification bell and i'm adiolua by the way hmm. so there is this um youtube online influencer if you may by the name Derek jackson um jacks with an x j a x n and um hmm He's been under fire lately, and rightly so. And um, he's, he's bungled things royally. Not royally. Uh, what did he do? <laughs> Apparently, he delivers the message. And I'm, you have to understand that I chose my words carefully here. He delivered the message. He preaches the message of you know men being accountable and responsible for their actions and women not feeling the need to um put up with any shenanigans from the men and stuff like that you know um that is basically what he does right that's what he does um as he's even written books on that sorry about that small issue so he's written books on that i've never seen his book i don't know how it looks like but i've watched one or two or three of his videos and um a lot of people maybe not a lot of people but the few comments i've read some of them kept saying that they didn't know he was married until now so apparently he flunked one of his one of the messages he delivered, one of the teachings, one of what he preached, which was um, black men don't cheat. He actually had t-shirts on that. And it so happened that he did. And um, he did cheat on his wife. And um, what is worse? Yeah, what is worse is that he is doing a really really bad job as far as i can see like i'm not sure i want to watch the the few the, the the one i had watched with him gripping his wife's hand <laughs> i was trying not to notice that but everybody else noticed it i'm like okay so maybe it's not me overreacting it's i mean he was gripping his wife's hand in the video while he was trying to explain himself and before i go any further i don't know whether he has he's probably mentioned it in one of his videos where he's teaching women how to handle a, or not even handle at all a man who cheats cheats on them and but whether he has or not here is what i think if he was going to apologize and and you know explain himself to um the online people what he's done why he did it and what he plans on doing way forward and in a in a very humble manner right um i'm not saying he should roll on the floor crying because if he did that actually whether he means it or not people will say he's just been a drama queen about it and he's been so hypocritical and over whatever whatever now some people might say that there is nothing he would do that would not keep people from bashing him but one thing i think he should not have done was bring his wife on the picture because i think he should have put himself and that was the wrong that was something i i, I hadn't watched um breakfast club in a long time because you know um i'm not really like i don't really gel with the ideology of the hosts you know but on this issue i just said let me just check and <laughs> dj envy said something apparently he too had been unfaithful and he said that the worst thing you could have done is to bring the issue online that you should resolve the issue in private first before coming online now i was feeling a bit weird about that you know 
I was feeling a bit weird about that. Like, so all of us should just wait for you to resolve your issue in private, which technically makes sense, you know, while you don't explain yourself or anything like that. But now, thinking back on the video, I think what he meant was that he shouldn't have involved his wife physically, you know, in his videos because let anyone remind me if i'm wrong now i haven't watched all of his videos i mean like i hadn't even watched up to five of his videos do you understand what i'm saying so i hadn't watched much but i don't think he's ever brought his wife on his videos as a co co host right where he talks with this you know where he talks with us with people at the same time not just putting his wife there as props but actually you know putting w sitting with her and having a discussion together right either to agree or disagree on a topic where she has is not scripted it is what she thinks honestly about the issue and he brings his own submission she brings her own submission and um it's it's a it's like having a conversation with all of us i don't think he's ever done something like that like this is probably the first time he's appearing online with his wife and what a first time it is to explain what he's doing and the way he was gripping his wife's hand my god like <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Honey, I'm not laughing because this is funny. I'm laughing because I couldn't believe it. Like, that man, I think he needs rehab. Okay? If there is a rehab for how not to treat your wife or something, I think he needs that. Because apparently he was not empathic. He was thinking about himself. Like, I want, I don't want to... I think that's what he was doing but if if he had walked in his wife's shoes like come on now if it was his wife that cheated and it was his wife that you know has an online audience where they say black women don't cheat or the or black women don't do something whatever that might be and um she does that thing right and her husband obviously is hit by this and then she now comes online. We don't even know she was married, by the way. Like, he, she doesn't talk much about her being married, who she's married to, and introduce her to us or what, whatever. Like, we don't know all of those details. We are not certain that he was married before then. We were too focused on what he was saying. And maybe he must have been asked that question and he, you know, kind of dodged it, right? Now, all of a sudden... We don't know, we don't really know, a, a lot of people don't know you're married. And all of a sudden, after you've done what you've done, that was wrong, that contradicts what you are inspired to preach, you now grab your husband's hand online to do a video of you admitting to guilt, admitting to what you did, like, would would he have done that would he have sat with his wife if the reverse was the case would he have sat with his wife online to do what his wife was required to do even if she asked because he might come and say well she she said she was going to even if she said she was going to you could have said no maybe later but we need this is something i did myself he did this by himself did he ask his wife before cheating being unfaithful did he ask his wife I, I, I doubt he asked his wife he did not ask her and yet she just finds out probably like the rest of us what happened maybe at the same time the rest of us found out maybe he told her before you know and when he said something he said something he said like his wife knows everything from start to finish if he says hello and hi to any woman and that makes him look really terrible because that's like saying, that is like implying that he had his wife's permission to do what he did. You know, that is a bit weird. But having said that, before the latest video came out where he sort of reacted to his own video, I hadn't watched that one. I'm not like, I was cringing throughout the one where he was gripping his, hands, his wife's hands and he was doing most of the talking. 
which he should anyway but his wife was not supposed to be there like i felt that was humiliating for her it's bad enough that she was cheated on and she didn't even feel like looking dressed up she dressed up anyway do you understand she dressed up you know but a lot of people apparently had gone on her instagram page to to attack her that it's the way she's dressing that she didn't dress properly and maybe that is why her husband stepped out i mean how many people <laughs> if someone is going to go by that look at me i had to i this is not how i woke up do you understand what i'm saying it might look like this is how i woke up but no this is not how i woke up i was supposed to be in the meeting and i was late to the meeting so i had checked myself i saw that my hair was a bit rough so i had to go back water my hair add oil then brush i had to rinse my face and brush my eyebrows i had to use something on my lips i had to use a, a she butter mix on my lips so i didn't wake up like this do you understand me? So if she looks like that, if she looks like that in hair net, I don't know what's wrong with hair net for crying out loud. I mean, I don't really like it personally, but I don't know what is wrong with it. It doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look bad, actually. Like, if she looks like how many women, all the women who said, who dared to accuse her, blame her, blame her looks, how dare they, like, how many of them look like that? How many of them look like that without their makeup, their wigs and everything in a hairnet? How many can boast that they look like that? If she looks that way with hairnet, with t-shirt and, you know, just dressing casually at home, even though she felt anything but at home, she looked like she was not at home. She looked uncomfortable. I could feel her discomfort. Can you imagine how she looked if she, you know, put in something much more extra to her looks? But that is not even important. That's not even important, is it? I would just say, sister, to any woman who is going through the situation where you have to stand by your husband in court while he's facing the public after he's done you wrong. Number one, please don't do it. He did it himself. He should restitute by himself. He should fix his problems by himself because... He should just fix it by himself. Number two, if you have done that, take care of yourself, please. And it's a good thing she's a Christian. A lot of people think it's not a good thing, but I think it's a good thing. I think she should focus on God right now because she needs healing. She needs healing. Um, her husband has really bungled this whole thing. And um, I feel really bad. I'm not in her situation and I feel terrible about what has happened i can't imagine if i'm feeling this way i can't imagine what she is feeling she should take care of herself they need if they went on a break before i think they should go on a break again this time for her he should fix his issues by himself and not involve her if she has to open a new social media account or go off social media completely that would be great because obviously everything she sees now will be about her husband and I don't think she needs that. That, I think she needs to go off and be alone with God. And, you know, sort things out with him. Have a conversation with him. Heal. I mean, if this was not, if, if this was before lockdown, I would have suggested a vacation on his money. Uh -huh. mm, I would have suggested a, vac a vacation, not some cheap vacation no 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 maybe somewhere she always wanted to go to 
and VIP treatment with massage and everything that has to do with it. First class treatment. She deserves that and much more. All right, I'll continue this um, some other time. Remember, God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Stay safe, stay healthy, and shalom.